And I can't believe your teacher didn't even defend you. That's such a rude thing for someone to do. Mm -hmm. Well, are you going to keep wearing your hijab? Well, it's up to you. Okay, I just got to just ask question. I'll talk to you later, but don't worry, okay? Everything's just going to be fine. How can we handle situations of Islamophobia in a mature way? Oh, Assalamu alaikum. I'm from My Voice Canada, a youth magazine for the youth and by the youth. And you're watching our Just Ask series, Daily This Ramadan. Where you ask and we answer. So tune in on Iyawaz to watch us live or on our YouTube channel, My Voice Canada. Islamophobia is discrimination against you because you're Muslim. And it isn't new. Islamophobia has been around since Islam first came to be about 1400 years ago. And don't forget, the shaitan uses discrimination to divide and conquer us. So what do we do about the rise of Islamophobia? First of all, make sure you never ever respond with aggression, violence, or anger. Keep it cool and be patient. What does Allah say about it in the Quran? Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and beautiful speech and argue with them in a way that shows the best of manners and character. If you ever find yourself in a situation where someone's being racist, never call them out by any other word other than racism. And then loudly exclaim, wow, like you can't believe that you heard something so wrong to draw attention from others. Make sure that you tell them that this society doesn't tolerate racism and that everyone deserves to feel comfortable in their own skin so that they should think about that. Make sure that the people around you see you dealing with this situation in a mature and logical way. If you ever see someone getting attacked, do this on their behalf and console the victim afterwards. It isn't easy going through these type of things in life, but inshallah, Allah will give us the strength to do so. Thank you.